All right, people, I'm back. Another casting, I guess you would say demonstration and going over what I like to use. Here I have the 2019 CT Steez, my bad, Steez CT SVTW. Regularly, it is designed for 3.5 grams to I don't know. I want to say 15, maybe. That's me just guesstimating. I know for sure it's 3.5 is starting. I took that spool out and I put in a Ray Studio Michael Cass honeycomb spool. No bearing upgrades, just a real protection. I have it paired with a custom build by me. Tetsuka handle, real seat, Malaysia rod. I have the mud hole or American tackle microwave nano guides on this bad boy. So, 6'2, extremely ultra light, 0.2 to 4 grams, designed with fly lures and mine for casting all the way up to little micro jerk baits but what i have on is of course the wax worm to start out with i'm gonna catch one with the wax worm then i'm gonna try something a little bigger just to fill this microwave got whoa 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 Now here's 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 the thing. I have on a whopping. Oh, I can reach. I got a fish on already. I probably did. Where's that black fish at? I have on a whopping 10 pound to a three pound fluorocarbon leader. 10 pound because this actually came off of my millionaire, which I'm gonna get rid of. So it's, I know why it's overspending. I mess with the daggone zero dial last night. Okay, let me fix that. Get this in real quick. Hopefully ain't no fish on there. Where's that lure at? All right, let's fix that. Cause I got it set on zero too. That doesn't help. falling too fast now technically you're not supposed to mess with the zero dial it's already tuned in when you first get it but of course me being me first thing i do is mess with the dial so let's talk about this nano microwave guy thing so we already know, wow, wow, wow. That through that far, further than any other other reels so far. And we are on one. Let him calm himself down. I didn't want to take the line off of the spool right away. Cause it's still good. So I put the three pound fluorocarbon leader on. Just to drag. I'm gonna tell you guys.
I like these rods, man. Definitely good for trout. Look at that bend, look at the bend. I would say it's almost slow action. I like slow action rods. It takes uh, pressure off the line and the reel, per se. Because the rod is flexing when they're pulling down and doing all of the craziness that they do, head shakes and all of that. Come on, you. I don't want to try to dog him in here and pop my line. To the net. To the net. To the net. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. So far, out of everything that I've thrown, this little joker through this 1.1 gram with no, no bearings or anything, just the spool change. So imagine what it would happen if I did the bearing change. Man, that's crazy to unload that line or that lure that fish bit it and he probably stretched out I don't want to fight one so close I do want that black one that's sitting in here there he is too he's sitting there looking right at me I know he's not going to bite it's a long fish man I don't know what it is He can see me doing that, so he's definitely not going to come up and grab it. He might. He's backing off on it. Set the hook on something. And he ain't really acting up, little guy. There's a log right there that they're hanging out by. That's what it is. Loosen his drag a little bit because he's a little bit bigger. A little bit of power with him. Back and forth in it right here. Dark fish just swam by me. I told you not to bite that. Oh, I got my net right here this time. Oh, oh, oh that's two. That's two. Yeah, this thing has got a mean. The whole the whole setup's nice. 
for this lure rating. So 1.1 gram lure. And I mean, it gets it out there and it's precise. I'm hitting the same spot over and over and over. Same spot. The thing about it is, if I keep hitting the same spot with the Lord, they'll, they'll stop messing with it. There's a tree, a log right here in front of me, and that's what they're holding at. There we go. And of course the net's way back there again. Look at these fish. To the net, to the net. Oh, come on. dip in it just a tiny bit is that gonna change my casting ability something's chasing it wow got him Got him. Is that the brown? Is that the brown? They fight so much harder, I believe. And of course, my neck's way over here again. That's a brown. They usually like minnows. Three pound test, man. Can't play with these fish. Come on. He's gonna get off. He's gonna get off. To the net, to the net. Boom. All right, people. Steez. CT, SV, TW. I should have had this reel a long time ago. We're in 2023 and I overlooked it. With this setup, this rod, phenomenal. Being able to throw that 1.1 gram lure. Complete setup with ease. I heard this reel was smooth. This, this reel, smoothness, 
unmatched. It has 12 barons too, though. I might be wrong. It could be 12 plus one or something crazy like that. But I, it didn't make my top five because I didn't have it. <laughs> I didn't have it at the time. This, 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 this combo is fighting for first place with the 22 Alder Baron because 22 Alder Baron is a different animal. But this thing right here is a different animal as well. It's up there. I knew my, my millionaire was smooth, but it just wasn't casting the way this would. I recommend ordering one of my rods. I will eventually have some for the new year or 2023 for sale. They're not cheap people. I tell you, they're not cheap. Just the components alone come up to a pretty penny. So I'm gonna try to find a, maybe build some budget ones. It's the handle on the real seat that's killing it. I mean, the rod, the blank itself is not that cheap either. The blank actually is the price of what people call budget. Remember, circle, free lifetime subscription, square, different playlists. Until next time, peace out.